Hi, uh, kids, it's time to do some math. Today we're on lesson 14, and I'm on page 71 if you want to get your learn book and work along with me. Today we're still going to find perimeter, which is um, finding the total of the outside boundary of a polygon. But in today's lesson, um, you need to know what a regular polygon is. That's going to be your clue. So this word regular, I'm going to make a big deal about this today because it tells you um, a special trait about a polygon. It tells you that all the sides have the same length. And sure enough, when you look on this page, you might have noticed that. All the side lengths look the same. And in fact, the measurement they give you for one side is the measurement that applies to the length of all the sides because these are regular shapes. And regular does not mean like normal, like it was a regular day, nothing unusual happened. Regular here means um, it's a geometry term. That means the polygon um, has the same length of sides. So regular is a clue. Let me find a pencil. If this side is 8, that means that all these sides are 8 inches in this case. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 sides. So we have 7 groups of 8. So I can tell without adding up 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 that the perimeter is 56 inches. And this is pretty easy if you know what the word regular means. <laughs> so if someone didn't know what regular meant, they might go, well, okay, I know the length of this side, but what about these? How am I supposed to know? And maybe they have to get a ruler and they have to measure it, or maybe they just guess and they don't know with confidence. But this word at regular means that all the lengths are seven feet in this case. So three groups of seven is the same as three sevens. So you can find the perimeter. All right. So then it looks like we have a square and a one, two, three, four, five, a pentagon and a rectangle. Oh, this one they add a step label, the unknown side lengths. So they want you to use what you know about a rectangle to add the lengths for these sides. You can do that. This one, David draws a regular octagon. That means all the lengths. Ali. Settle down, do a math. My dog is talking out of turn, boys and girls. All the side lengths have the same measurement. Um, and then find the perimeter, okay? Paige paints an eight inch by nine inch picture. What's the total length of wood that she needs to make the frame? Well, a frame is like a perimeter, isn't it? So they're saying, Um, they're saying it's not a square, is it? It's 8 by 9. So, kids, you would draw that out. And no, you don't need to use a ruler and draw exactly 8 inches. You can just say, okay, this side is 8 and this side is 9. And the total length of wood, well, 8 and 9 and 8 and 9. So then you would add up to find the length of wood that she needs for the picture. So perimeter is kind of neat, kids, because you actually will use this in your real life. So I want you to learn how to measure the boundary around for perimeter. Okay, Mr. Spooner draws a regular hexagon on the board. One of the sides measure, measures four centimeters. Giles and Xander find the perimeter. Their work is shown below. 
whose work is correct? Explain your answer. Okay, so it says a regular hexagon. You need to know how many sides are in a hexagon if you want to get this right. If we were in class, I would be quizzing you every day on the names of your polygons. And one of the ways I help kids remember that hexagon means six is that they both have an X. So that's just one way. Hexagon means a six-sided figure. So if we have a regular hexagon and one side measures four centimeters, that means that all the sides measure four centimeters. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So four, four, four. So six fours is 24 centimeters. So let's see how this person did it. Four, six fours right there, or six fours right there. Whose work is right? Hmm. Well, I naturally went to this one, but is this wrong? Could we do four plus four plus four plus four? Sure, we could add them all up. So whose is right? The answer is both are right. And then I could explain it. I'm kind of running out of room here. One found the answer with repeated addition and one found it by multiplying the side lengths. And we could multiply here because all the lengths are the same equal groups, right? Okay, hope that helps you with your math. Have a great day.